Revelations to the General Church. Year 1995 Caracas, Venezuela. God be praised that the peace of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit has come into every heart. I thank God for this good preparation of being here with the brothers, my soul rejoices before God. I want to tell you that we are not God's preferred people unless we are a church that lives in holiness. I was praying to God at dawn and my soul was taken up to him. When I looked I was faced with a being of light. The angel of the Lord came to fetch me and together we descended into the valley of darkness which I believe is hell. There is the place of perdition where people who have lost the way of salvation and never found it. People who get lost in drugs, alcohol and have not been able to find the truth. They did not know what to do with their lives. There in hell, no one even finds himself standing near one another. There is no way out, nor escape from the demons. They are eternally lost and will never find the end of this place. Perdition means ruin, doom or destruction. People who walk lost in the wrong ways when they die are lost in hell. The souls that are there have been forgotten by God. On earth God sends rain. The sun makes the tree bear fruit for people to eat. The earth produces food for the people and the air provides the oxygen to breathe. We have a bed to sleep on and a blanket to heat it all is the sign that God loves mankind and has never forgotten. In hell, there is no day, food, water, oxygen to breathe, there is no rain, no sun and no tree of fruit. This is the sign that God has abandoned these lost souls. Shorts I was walking with the angel in hell. The demon showed me a machine that produces a variety of men's and women's shorts. He said these shorts will rise in the earth, it is the new fashion that will arise. Warn them on earth that if they do not stop wearing shorts, their souls will land in hell when they die. Women should also stop wearing thongs. Haircuts the devil called several other demons with different haircuts to come forward. Female and male haircuts. He said, this is our fashion that is being launched on earth. I noticed several radical haircuts, some with designs at the nape of the neck. Haircuts with designs on the head. Cuts with satanic symbols taking away the image of God. I saw women believers in hell for shaving their hair bald. They have cut off the covenant symbol from their heads. I saw in hell brothers who made fashionable and flamboyant haircuts that call attention to themselves. Cosmetics other women are in hell because they painted their nails. The demons cut off the fingers of these sisters. And the ones that dyed the hair, the demons plucked the scalp and left the sisters bald. Those who wore lipsticks had their lips cut from their mouths, becoming only the skeleton. Those who wore earrings had their ears cut off. I only saw two holes instead of the ears. Those who wore makeup had their faces melted with fire. Those wearing necklaces had their necks serrated. Sexy clothing I saw in hell women who wore long trousers and also those who wore short trousers. I saw sisters in hell for wearing short skirts whose hems were above their knees and I also saw women wearing dresses clinging tightly to their bodies. I saw Christian men who wore tight clothing on their bodies. I saw sisters in hell for wearing cracked skirts and high heels. I saw those who walked without shirts. I saw brothers who are in hell for wearing sleeveless shirts. And those who wear shorts at home like normal clothes and go out to the street. And all these I saw are brothers of various denominations. Bodybuilding I saw brothers in hell who did bodybuilding to attract attention and glances to their bodies. They wanted to stay strong to wear tight clothing. This is the true doctrine that has been revealed to me. Adultery the angel said, you think there is no one from your church in this place. The angel took me to a place where I saw a sister from my church. She died five years ago. I was scared to see this sister there. The angel said, she is here because she wanted the husband of another woman. I saw an old man in hell. The angel said, he is here for wanting a young girl from his church. He was married, but committed adultery in his heart by betraying his wife. I did not believe in seeing people from the fellowship there. The angel showed me a sister who had impure thoughts, fantasized and imagined having sex on her mind. She was single and committed fornication in her mind with a picture of a boy. 
I saw a couple of brothers who are there because of practicing eroticism. The man wore sex fantasies like the Superman. And his wife who is also in that place wore a Jaguar costume. I saw Christian women there for indulging in sexual fantasies. They introduced objects into their private parts. When they got to hell, their private parts were tormented by the demons. The angel showed me a sodomite industry of sexual objects, clothes, and fantasies. Envy the angel showed me a deacon who is the for envy, he wanted a car just like his brother in church. Cruelty to animals I saw a man in hell for mistreating animals. The other man I saw had the pleasure of killing cats. Defamation I saw a pastor in hell for using the media to attack the true churches, defaming the servants of God. Drinking I saw brothers who were drunk with wine and beer. Their imprisoned souls were being punished for their sins. Familiar spirits a demon was circulating through hell but pretended not to be a demon. He was multifaceted and turned into several people who were trapped in hell. The angel said, he assumes the appearance of the souls that are in this place and rises to the earth to deceive the spiritists saying that it is that person. That demon took the name of that person and went to earth. That demon became a man, woman, child, cat, dog, an angel. He has a great ability to take on the looks of the person that he is impersonating. I was watching the wiles of that demon. Praying suddenly I heard a great burst in hell that shook the demons. The angel said, whoever caused this was a church that is praying at dawn. The angel took me out of hell and led me to the church that was praying at that moment. Sleeping naked then the angel took me to a Christian home. And the guardian angel who took care of him left him in that house because the couple slept naked. And a terrible demon approached them to torment them. Tithes the angel said, the tithe is not of the law, before the law was given through Moses. Tithes already existed. Genesis 14 colon 18 20 and Melchizedek king of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of the Most High God. 19 And he blessed him, and said, Blessed be Abram of the Most High God, possessor of heaven and earth. 20 And blessed be the Most High God, which has delivered your enemies into your hand. And he gave him tithes of all. Abraham lived by faith, not by law and all who walk in grace become children of the faith of Abraham. Just as Abraham gave tithes to the king of Salem, who is Melchizedek, the church also has to have the same attitude toward Jesus. Melchizedek symbolized Jesus in the Old Testament. After this revelation, I began to tithe. No one is required to know the amount of money you offer. If your elders do not agree, you can still give the tithe. They cannot prevent and also will not ask how much will be offered. I am tithing and no one has ever known until today. Reading the word the angel handed me a sword. When I took that sword I felt the weight and could not lift it. The angel said, this is the weight of the word that will carry you. You cannot handle this sword today because you do not read the word. But tomorrow you will have the ability to handle the word in force enough to lift. Dreams today you will receive the gift of dreams just as Joseph had. And I will speak with you through dreams. Now go back to your body. I returned to earth and began to pray. And the Holy Spirit revealed to me thirteen kinds of people in the church 